redirecting users to specific parts of our sites on login is a great way to enhance our user experience. In this video, we can look at how we do it in Flutterflow. Okay, so this should be a relatively quick one, and we are talking about custom login actions. Now, if we go to our login button and we open up the, uh, the editor, now we have this toggle switch on the bottom, um, navigate automatically, you may have noticed it, you may have not, you may have used it, you may have not. But if you, it, by default it's toggled on, and what happens is, if it's toggled on, your users will automatically be directed to the page in um, the authentication section of your settings, which is this here, the logged in page. Now, if you've got different types of users and they're returning users, not return users, or whatever the reason may be, you may want to make it so it's a bit more custom, so you can switch automatic diversion to the logged in page off, which is quite handy. So, and that's what we've done here. So what we're gonna look at is how I've done it, and hopefully it's something that you can, uh, you can do too. So if we go back to our action editor, our first action is obviously login, when I use to login, and we have to have the navigate automatically toggled off. And then we can basically put in our actions and our conditional actions to navigate where we want our user to go to. So what we're doing in this instance, first off, we are checking if it's our user's first login. Uh, I'll go to the Superbase side in a second and what we've got I've got a custom action called check first which is a standard remote procedure call which I will again I'll go to in a second and basically then if it returns true ie it is their first time they go through the onboarding process and if it's not the first time and the are they're returning user and they go false and then this is the this is the job board app that uh, I've been building which you've seen kicking around which is uh, nearly finished and I'll put a video on that when it is done um, but check purposes i.e. and in this instance the purposes are are they an employer or are they a job seeker so we've just got a con like conditional action on employer and if they're an employer they'll go to the employer home and if they're not an employer they'll get navigated to the job seeker home and that pretty simple sort of set of actions and choices allows us to send our users exactly where we want them to go within the app. Now, these are all, the, both custom actions are super based remote procedure calls, and then obviously the navigate twos are where our user ends up. So, what happens is then when our user logs in, they follow the path and and go where they go. Now, now if your user is already logged in, i.e., their authentication token is still valid. Obviously, none of this actions will take place because they haven't got a login. So, login action won't happen, and therefore, none of this, none of this will take place. And what happen is your user will automatically be forwarded to whatever your logged in default page is. So, we need to do something on the on this page to uh, to identify the users as well. So, it's pretty simple. What we do, we use the same actions. So, if we go back to the login button and we need everything from check first down so obviously the login isn't going to happen but we need to copy and paste all the actions from here down so you basically copy and paste the action chain so copy action chain here and on your log and your logged in page and in my instance that is the onboarding page onboarding one and then on page load you need to paste those actions in here with the exception so everything's the same with the exception of the navigate to onboarding or whatever your logged in page happens to be doesn't need to happen because already there so if your is your first time login then nothing will happen basically because you're already on the right page and you'll just carry on as regardless if it's not your first time logging in you will go through this logic to get to either the employer home or the job seeker home now in my instance you cannot bypass the um, the onboarding process 
before you get to these two pages obviously your case may be different now if you don't check this first before you uh, get to these so in my instance again when our user signs up the first time login becomes true and only when they've been through onboarding does it become false so and therefore the on um, part of the onboarding process is deciding if they're a job seeker or employer and you'll get a null error because they haven't been through the onboarding at this point when they're on this page for the first time haven't been through the onboarding process yet there's no job seeker or employer values in the columns and therefore if you don't have this section to direct them to there if you just try this you'll get a null value you'll get a null error and nothing will happen because this doesn't function so you have to make sure that these sets of actions are on your logged in page to make sure your logic your logic still works when your returning user is already logged in with the authentication token so our check first custom action is just a standard remote procedure call we're calling a super base function and we're sending in the user id and returning true or false and then the check purpose again returning a string um, and with just calling a super base remote procedure call super base function and we're sending the user id they're both basically the same just returning one return a uh, true or false and returns a string so if we head over to super base and we'll have a look at what we're doing at that side of things so in our users table we've got first login true or false and purpose employer job seeker obviously got these set up just to test everything out now when you sign up to the app what happens is on account creation our account creation trigger function to the user table so we use the standard super base sign up method through Flutterflow, which adds everything to our authentication our auth schema and what we're using is the trigger function which creates the users table uh, now I'm going to go over trigger functions properly and how we'll do this in a, another video but um, but for now what we're saying is we are adding the first login as false when they create their account so our users will all by default when they create their account be set up as first login as false and obviously their and when they go through their onboarding that's how this gets the purpose gets gets completed so back over on the Flutterflow side when they go through onboarding this is what determines if they're a job seeker employer and then once their account set up they can't change that's that's why I've done it and when they create an account it's obviously just username password as usual and this gets created automatically and once they've been through the onboarding process this then changes to true the first login which in turn means on the custom actions on the login button if it's that will become false once they've been through the onboarding process and that's that's how I've set it up and then the functions so we're just checking the first login from the uh, public users table and returning the value and likewise the user purpose we just return in the response which is just selecting whether it's an employer or job seeker into into our response which we then return back to Flutterflow and that's really all there is to it now obviously as always the I will put these two functions and the custom action code uh, available to download from the link below um, but other than that that's really very quick one but it's just a sort of brief demonstration of how you can use 
custom logic to send users where you want to in your app obviously your use cases will be slightly different everybody's will be um, but it's just really a matter of toggling off the automatic navigation deciding what kind of users you've got and where you want them to go based on what kind of users they are and then ensuring that your default login page has the similar sort of actions so when your users authentication token is still valid they're not stuck in onboarding hell or whatever version of that you're using and they do get diverted to the correct places so that's it it's a pretty quick one uh, hopefully that is helpful and you can use that in your projects as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time